Hello and welcome to the Imaginal Podcast. This is a place that protects and explores what we need to actualize our uniqueness. And like the caterpillar who carries its butterfly blueprint in its imaginal cells all the way to the chrysalis and then melts into liquid before it transforms, we too have an inner knowing that can tell us how to make our wings. Hello, it's us. Welcome to the podcast. I'm I'm all up in my feelings today. <laughs> I'm in my container of feelings, as Daniel said last week. Oh my gosh, I am just so taken by the amazingness of people. And Oh, I am so blown away by the complexities that each person holds and the story lives that they lead or that you lead. And I was just sort of taking in all of the people that have crossed my path today and over the last few weeks and years and then over my life. And I just think, wow, like what an amazing thing it is to be in relationship with with you, you know, with each other. And so this podcast episode is dedicated to anyone who is human. And granted, there are times when relationships are unhealthful, or we have to draw boundaries or grow out of our own dysfunctional patterns and strategies from childhood. I know that I am always working on mine. And I have definitely impacted relationships in ways that I wish I hadn't that aside, just for today, I want to just look at the purity and how beautiful people are in general and how much our lives are so enriched and changed and broadened as a result of knowing each other. And that might be a stranger for three seconds, or it could be a lifelong relationship, someone who's known you, you know, from day one. I'm amazed when I think about the different places that I went today or the different people that I've talked to or big meetings that I've sat in and each body, like everybody, every body is an incarnation that holds all of these things, you know, like what, how, how you, how would you ever conceptualize or or describe what makes up a person? And, and yet these bodies, they carry this around. And when I was walking through um, a shopping center, like a strip mall type thing, I just thought, wow, there's just so many people around me. And each one of these bodies carries these amazing stories and these incredible thoughts and probably some worries and, and fears and who knows the giftedness that lies within. And What's interesting is that, you know, so many times nowadays since the pandemic, I am so to myself when I'm walking around, you know, we have our masks and whatever. And so I don't really, or I haven't been in the habit of talking to too many people, unlike the chattiness from my embarrassing episode number one. Um, And today I was just thinking, wow, behold. These amazing people that I have no idea. And to be fair, like I walk through every day to get coffee and I look like just someone who has no personality because I just walk through. And yet in my inner world, I've got all these things going on in there. And so what happens when we break the fourth wall of each person? Not not that we always can, but I just, I wonder, I wonder what beauty lies around me. And I actually stopped to talk to this group of men who, I don't know, they they might have been 10 or 15 years older than me. And they seem to hang out in this one place every morning. And I walk by them all the time. And I, I don't really say anything or haven't in a long time. And then just recently, I started just kind of waving. And Today, I stopped and talked a little bit longer to them. And my goodness, what an amazing collection of people that I 
just walked right by for so many months. And I remember um, about a week ago or less, I saw an older man sitting outside very, very early in the morning, and he was sitting alone at a table, and he had no expression on his face, and neither did I. And I walked by, went in, got my coffee, and I walked back out, and I waved. I don't know what came over me, and this friendliness has been coming over me lately. I guess this openness. <sighs> I'm getting a little less insul insular, insular, insular. I, I cannot say that word. Because I, I, I became so much more introverted, I think, during the pandemic when we were sheltering at home and such. And so when I waved at him, you can't imagine the smile that came across his face. And I can only imagine what mine was likewise. So, yes, there are so many incredible people everywhere. And I started to think about the fact that, you know, we don't know when we're going to meet someone that will absolutely change our lives. And I just thought back a little bit. I mean, do this exercise with me if you want to. If you think about someone who you would call your best friend, someone who wasn't a family member, but someone that you met and has become a core, if not one of like the most central persons in your life. Okay, so when you picture that person, think about your origin story and when you met, if you can, if you can think about what day that was or how you met. So I have someone in mind. And what's so interesting and amazing, almost overwhelming in the best of ways to me is to think that I woke up that morning, I got up and did my morning routine, you know, brush your teeth and whatever else you do in the morning, eat breakfast, what else, whatever, with no idea that my life was about to change that day. Nothing in the brushing of the teeth would have told me that that day was going to look any different. Yet in it held this gift of this person who would then become my confidant and someone who I would meet around the world, you know, traveling with. But yeah, I really would have never, ever dreamt of it for myself. And also, I just think back like three weeks ago, in these three weeks, since then, someone has come into my life that I could have never imagined coming in and totally changing the fabric of my heart and has already made this these imprints on me because of just this gorgeous soul that she is. And likewise, about a year and a half ago, just someone who I would have never in a million years known I would meet. And now I am a completely better person for knowing her. So it's just amazing to think that we can really touch lives, you know, each other's as we share in conversation or we go do things together, we laugh together, or we sit around saying nothing sometimes together or, or a group of people or whatever it looks like for you. I just want to take a minute to honor all of the people who have ever crossed your path and all of the people who have had you cross theirs. It's such a simple concept, I suppose, that I'm talking about, but there's this purity about it that just really is getting to me. I want you to know, too, that you can change the trajectory of someone's day in like two seconds. About a month ago, I was in a grocery store and this young girl was sitting in the cart. Her mom was with her, I think. I think it was her mom. That's an assumption, but I think it was. And she must have been about two, maybe. And when I was walking by in my complete cloudy headed, thoughtful, who knows where I was thinking about all kinds of things, all of a sudden we caught each other's eye and this little, young, beautiful girl shoots her hand up in the air and waves at me like, like I was her long lost 
friend that she hadn't seen in 25 years, even though she's one or two years old. And her eyes had these, they were starry, they were glittery, they were deep and extending warmth as well as bringing in welcome. And she just waved high. She didn't even say anything, but she waved high and her whole body waved. Her whole body almost came out of the cart. And I mean, I was, I was just walking by and I will tell you that I replay that scene over and over and over in my heart. And it just brings so much pure joy. And I just know that these thank you, stranger moments, you know, just thank you, stranger, for changing the trajectory of my day and giving me such a warm feeling and a staying power of that because, oh my goodness, she could have never known the troubles that I was holding that day or the the confusing thoughts or maybe even the, who knows what I was thinking about that day. I'm not really sure, but hypothetically, we don't know. And I would just trust your intuition and know that whatever ways you interact with people, be it quickly or be it long form, lifelong, um, just thank you for being who you are in our world. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know I'm being super existential today, but I think, I think it's just something that deserves honoring just the who of each one of us. I actually have this habit or tradition. I'm not sure what to call it, but there's this song that I absolutely adore. It's called Shine and it's by Benjamin Francis Leftwich. And I actually slid into his DMs a while back. I mean, not like that, but just to message him, I I guess just to thank him for this song and also just to ask him if I could talk about it on the podcast. And he graciously said that I could. I don't know him at all though. But this song, Shine, just it just gets to me in the best way. There's something about the lyrics and I don't know, everything about the song just puts me in a place that reminds me of how beautiful it is to live and love and be in connection with each other. And the chorus, oh, I think you should look up the song. I will link it in the, in the show notes. The chorus says, I hope you find the love that's true so the morning light can shine on you. I hope you find what you're looking for so your heart is warm forevermore. And the tune is just so delightful. And when he sings it, it's even better. But I love to play the song in my car and I just drive around with it on repeat. And I look at people and sing it over them. I know that's super sappy, but when people are crossing the street, I just look at them and I sing those words over them. I just say, I hope you find, I mean, they can't hear me, but I just sing like with my whole heart. I hope you find the love that's true so the morning light can shine on you. I hope you find what you're looking for. So your heart is warm forevermore. And I do this, like I look at the people next to me when I'm sitting at a signal, a stoplight. When I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't creep look at them, but I just look over, see who it is. And I sing it over them. Oh, just anybody, anywhere. And I don't know what it's, it's something also about watching the world with the music soundtrack, you know? So when the song is playing and I'm looking for people, it almost feels like my own little slideshow with this music background and this gorgeous soundtrack. And I see the world differently. I see the world so lightly and brightly and with so much gratitude. And I wonder like, oh, if only I could sit with you and speak for four hours and hear your stories. And I hope, who knows, that our paths will cross somehow. But for now, like, I hope the morning light is shining on you and that you find the love, whether that is Whatever kind of love that means, it it can be a million different kinds of love in this world, but I hope that you you have that. And so, yeah, I just, I am just enamored with people. I'm amazed at 
how one person can change my life so profoundly. And I wish you the best day today. I hope that people find you and vice versa, that we all just are able to connect with each other. So, you know, let's all reach out to someone, anyone. I am definitely thinking of you. If you want to connect, I, like always, am around on Instagram at Lori Sase, L-O-R-I-S-A-S-E. My website, laurisase.com. And I would love for you to subscribe and share this podcast. I know that I'm being a super sapster right now. And this is just a short episode, but it's in your honor just to say thank you for who you are in each of our lives. Have the best week. <laughs>